Trump is back, okay? Trump finally posted on his social app. We're going to go over what he said, the news about it, and then we're going to go ahead and go over to the charts. We're going to talk about DWAC, and I will also throw Funware in there because it's kind of moving like a sympathy play, and sometimes those sympathy plays can lead to some profits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. If you're new to the channel, my name is Will, and I try to give you guys the best news and key levels in this market. Now, Trump won't be returning to Twitter, but he's back on True Social, okay? Donald Trump won't be returning to Twitter, but the former U.S. president finally posted on his True Social app, breaking months of silence. Now, personally, I have not tried the app. I have not downloaded the app. I'm not on the app, okay? Full disclosure, I'm not on this app. I'm back. Coffee Trump posted on True Social Thursday afternoon alongside a photo of himself in front of his Mar-a-Lago property in Palm Beach, Florida. The coffee hashtag is a reference to Trump's 2017 tweet in which he criticized the media's coverage of his administration. Despite the constant negative press, coffee, or however you say it, Trump said in the now deleted tweet, shares of digital acquisition, a special purpose acquisition company that is merging with the true social owner Trump Media and Technology Group surged 11.11% pre-market trading. The stock has slumped more than 30% in the past three months. Trump launched True Social on the Apple Store in February in a bid to compete with Twitter and meta platforms Facebook. But the Truth Social uh, platform has struggled amid falling users uh, numbers and technology glitches. Okay, Trump told Fox News Monday that he would not return to Twitter if his account is reinstated. His comments came on the same day that Tesla Elon Musk clinched. I see. I think he's coming back now because he knows that Elon Musk is on Twitter. A lot of people might be going back to Twitter. So now he's trying to boost up uh, the Truth Social app. I think it might be a little uh, strategic in there. In a tweet on Wednesday, Musk said Trump's true social platform has a terrible name, saying that it should be called Trumpet instead. In the same Twitter thread, Musk noted that true social app was currently outranking Twitter in the number of app store downloads. True social is currently beating Twitter and TikTok on the Apple store, he tweeted. Okay, so that is the news. That's what's going on. Now we're going to go over to digital acquisition in the stock, and we're going to talk about funware because it could be a sympathy play. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Doing a giveaway on here today. Make sure you don't miss it. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. And let's go to the chart. Okay, guys. So now we are on DWAC chart. And like I said, after this one, we're going to flip over to Funware chart also. So first one is Digital World Acquisition, ticker symbol DWAC. Let's go ahead and write that ticker symbol. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button and subscribe. And make sure you share the video out to your friends and family. So DWAC. Okay, opened up, it closed yesterday like around $48, and it opened up at about 50, at about 54, okay? Having a heavy pullback right now, right? Don't try to buy at high prices, have that pump off the news. We want to see if this is a continuation. That is the big thing about this. We want to see if that's a continuation of today. What I'm seeing, first, I think around $50 is a support level. So that's what we want to watch. I want to watch to see if it's a support level. If that support level breaks, that could be bringing us down. Uh, I really don't see a buying level until about like $47. So buying level at $47. Support level at $50. And then for a resistance, I think we might have some resistance. Uh, resistance isn't too clear. Okay, resistance is not too clear. It is in the resistance now right around that $54 range. And maybe the next one will probably be around like 57 So I'll go ahead and put a $57 um, resistance up here just so we can have some levels for a little guidance. So these are the main three levels that I see right now on uh, DWAC. Buying level probably around 47 Support right around 50 Now, if this support kind of holds price up, right, kind of holds price up and starts seeing buying pressure off of that, that could be a potential buy to kind of trade higher if it continues, okay? So we'll still need kind of buying pressure uh, buying pressure confirmation off of that, but I'd rather it fall down to about 47 because it has been pushing up for about 37. So it is still kind of high trying to buy in that range. So maybe have a little more pullback and then try to play it on the upside. We'll kind of see. And we are in a bearish market also, very heavy on the downside. So just make sure you kind of watch those levels. Those are like the main levels that I'm watching for DWAC. And then like I said, I will add Funware in here. Had an old resistance level there. Actually hit perfect after hours right there. Came down. It um, opened. I mean, it closed yesterday right around $2.07. So all that sympathy play kind of got out of it already. 
right? Kind of got out of it already, kind of been in race. But I'm going to give you guys some levels on here because I did um, hear you guys say on this one. So buying level, I would see on this one is about $2.15, I see. Let me see. Let me write the ticker symbol also. This is Funware, ticker symbol PH, P-H-U-N. Make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see, let's see. Funware, there you go, P-H-U-N. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. So buying level right around $2.15. Now, the only thing about this one is we have some resistance, like around 225. So it doesn't leave too much room from entry to exit. That's only about a 4% gain. And then after that resistance, we have another resistance at about like $2.35, which is another resistance target. So probably won't be trying to play funware. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It does have a lot of resistance on this upside. That could be some problems for it to kind of push up. And it might even start breaking that buying level. So for that buying level, we'll need it to push above it, right? Probably hit that resistance. Let me see. So we'll probably need this. We'll need to push, hit that resistance, then try to get a push down back to it. That is probably what I'm kind of looking out for. So if it doesn't get that today, probably won't be playing it at all. We'll need this to happen for me to want to buy it, okay? So that's kind of the main situation that I'm kind of looking out for um, on Funware. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on world.knowledge. If you guys want to know how I find these levels, how I find support levels, key buying levels, make sure you join VIP. It's the first link in the description. That is where I actually teach you guys how to trade, okay? So make sure you join that. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, not to strike, biggest buy, or sell anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye.